Maybe we, we have time for some question, if you want. You see? We had a question about uh, the... the... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, uh, I really appreciate being here. Um, thank you for the presentations. Um, you know, a lot of the advancements are coming out of France and uh, I'm an orthopedic surgeon uh, working in Illinois. And um, are you, is the orthopedic uh, group currently using the robotics that were advanced here in the country? Uh, we, we are not orthopedic surgeons. Right. There's not many orthopedic surgeons with a, a robotic device. Only uh, 40 uh, device for a, hip uh, surgery or uh, knee surgery. We have a, a great uh, implementation of uh, uh, robotic for general surgery, thoracic and uh, digestive, uh, urology, uh, but it's starting in orthopedic. It's a, uh, very slow, very slow, very slow. No. I. I think, yes, it's expensive, but I think it's a, a problem of culture. Uh, not, it, it's just the beginning. But uh, the problem in France with robotics is, is that this is not uh, reimbursed, okay? Except for prostatectomy. This is a, only one operation. And maybe a partial nephrectomy, maybe, I'm not sure. And so it's now very expensive and patients pay for, to have the robotic. And see, is this is a form of uh, advertising for the surgeons to say, to say ah, I, I have the robot, come with me, okay? And uh, urologists are very, uh, don't go in a, in a hospital where, where there is no robot, okay? But the other specialties, it's, it's more difficult. Mm -hmm. It was very important for uh, urologists uh, because when you spend uh, three, four hours uh, for doing uh, um, prostatectomy, radical prostatectomy uh, with a celluloscopy, you are all the time like that. And it, it's nearly impossible. But um, for uh, uh, we, we have a, ve a very uh, growing of uh, robotic surgery in uh, soft tissues. Mm -hmm. We have in France health authority for health, um, high uh, authority for health, which is your FDA. But uh, our agency is very difficult for, to validate new operation or new uh, devices. So it's, it's a real problem in France. Uh, to, to have uh, opportunities for innovations. So similarly, how, how then is innovation funded in France? And also how do you balance the regulation of allowing innovation while protecting patient safety for these innovative procedures or innovative techniques like AI? No, no, no. Uh, I am not sure we, we, we have perfectly understand your question. Uh, it's about um, uh, artificial well, I can I can try to understand your question maybe. Oh, okay. um, uh, Dr. Richman here in Toulouse. Um, we hello. Um, yes, we protect safety uh, of patients because uh, each time we have to evaluate an innovation, we have to present a protocol to our health authorities. And the first uh, thing they look at is the uh, safety of patients, of course. It's like a phase one for a drug uh, evaluation, for example. So uh, the safety is, uh, of course, uh, the first point they, they look at. Uh, and then in the second time, they look at the, the result in prospective comparative studies. Uh, it's the, the reality also for drugs and for devices. And that's why I was saying uh, a moment ago uh, during, during my address that the, the, it was uh, one of our important role at the academy is to accelerate, accelerate the process uh, for the patient to get access to the uh, very uh, numerous innovations we have to face now in, in surgery. And uh, talking uh, 
of robots. As I am a, a neurologist, I confirm that uh, we uh, uh, widely uh, use the, the, the robots, uh, the Da Vinci robots, and now the, the CMR, which is uh, new. Um, and also we have another robot, Dr. Blondel uh, talked about it, it's about Haifu, and I, I'm one of the specialists using Haifu, which is a kind of robot. It's, it's a note because you introduce uh, it by the uh, natural or, uh, anus or orifice in order to treat uh, prostate cancer. Uh, well, a selected patients of uh, uh, small prostate, localized prostate cancer, but it's real, uh, really a robot because once you have, uh, it's a navigation, you know, surgical navigation, and once you have uh, uh, targeted uh, the cancer, then you push a button and the, the machine goes uh, by its own. And the, the, the surgeon has to, uh, of course, to follow up the, the treatment and sometimes to modify some, uh, uh, some things, some, uh, uh, to, to stop waiting for heat to decrease and then to start again. But it's kind of a robot and it's now reimbursed because uh, we have done all these procedures you were talking about. First, safety procedures, then uh, oncologic evaluation, then functional results evaluation, tolerance, etc. So, of course, the the the, the patient is, is the first to be protected when we develop a new device. Have another question? Just just a, just a word to say uh, we have a um, European regulation. Uh, for data and uh, artificial intelligence. So, uh, 